Hello, and welcome to the instructional series. This video, will teach you the new interface and functionalities of the 3D Experience platform. The 3D Experience platform is, a collaborative environment, that provides software solutions for every domain such as engineering, marketing and sales in an organization. This environment enables, people with various roles to collaborate, and solve industry challenges on a single platform. The solutions are based on 3D design, analysis, simulation and intelligence software, in an interactive environment. So the 3D experience environment is completely database oriented. And all the data is in one place, and everyone share the same design data. Everyone is continuously up to date. Since the data is stored in a database, each user, will need to be granted access to the database server. 3D Experience servers, can be either on-premise, or on the cloud. On-premise is a database that is owned and controlled by the customer. It is located on the company's premises. Whereas, the cloud technology uses, a servers that is maintained by outside companies. And this customer data is secured, using leading-edge technology, that distributes access to users located off-site. For this session, we are going to see only the on-premise server. You can open the 3D Experience platform using a dedicated icon on your computer. Now, use this desktop shortcut to launch the 3D Experience platform, double-click on it. Here, you will see the platform dialog box has appeared. As we are logging it first time, you need to add platform. So click on plus icon which is right next to the dialog box. Enter a platform name. For example I am entering it as 3D Additive. Select 3D Experience as the platform and, click Next. Now, in this box, let us complete the fields which has been provided by the administrator. Now, you will be prompted to complete username and password. Credentials such as organization, collaborative space, access roles. This information is customizable, to be specific to your organization. The first time you launch the 3D Experience platform, the coach mark appears. It provides an overview of the user interface, introducing key concepts and capabilities. You can click through the dots to see the brief introduction to the different conventions used in the 3D Experience interface. Select Do Not Show at Startup, if you don't want it to appear every time you log in. Here is the home page consists of the top bar, the compass, and the menus. The compass is the gateway to all 3D experience platform services, apps and experiences. The compass, contains four quadrants with a play button at its center. The four quadrants such as north-south, east-west, enable you to access the apps to create content and experiences. Observe that, there are three menus for each quadrant. Now, let us click on south quadrant, and explore 3D experience apps and roles menu. By default, you will find set of roles some of which are not enabled. A good step would be to first enable them. So roles is nothing but set of apps and options. The roles which are available on platform are those, that you and your company have purchased. For example, additive manufacturing researcher role, provide the tools required to define and perform simulations of additive manufacturing. Let's activate this role. And click on this arrow which is right next to this role. Hence. Activating this role will give you the access to these apps. Apps or applications, are nothing but a small programs, which are developed to serve specific purpose. The top bar brings, different menus to provide immediate access to key information and services. The search menu lets you search across the 3D experience platform. The search results can further be refined using the 6W tags. The 6W tags are displayed in 6 categories. These include who, when, what, where, why, and how. The dashboard menu lets you manage different collaborative space. Collaborative space or collab space is an area where people with different job functions can work together, to produce and deliver content. For example, if I select 3DX Additive Collab Space and let us search my content from 3D Search window, you will find around 18 files available into the 3DX Additive Collab Space. Similarly, 
If we switch to the another collab space, you can find respective files available into that collab space. The Me menu lets you access the basic information about the user including designated and granted roles, profile and preferences. The Add menu lets you create and import the content. Using Import option, you can import CAD data, material properties, simulation data and so on. The Share menu allows you to share content with others. You can also share content to collaborative spaces, save modifications, export objects and print content. The Help Service gives you the access to the online user assistance, guides and tutorials. Now, let us look at the action bar which is located at the bottom of the platform. The action bar is the main area to access app commands. For example, we have all the commands associated in action bar for the Similia Additive Manufacturing Scenario app. Commands are organized into the section. Sections are ordered from left to right by frequency of use. The left part of the action bar contains commands visible in all sections. This area contains most frequently used actions, also called as a standard area. In certain cases, flyout are used to combine commands that are very similar. Users can customize the action bar to reorder icons, create or remove sections, and add or remove commands. To do so, right click anywhere in the action bar to access additional customization options. Assistance can be opened from the standard area of the action bar. It is the step by step guidance to define, execute, and review the simulation. Assistant is an alternative to using the action bar. At the left side of the screen, 3D Experience Platform provides a tree which contains the hierarchy of features, constraints, processes, and the assembly information for a 3D Experience object. You can edit, reorder, or remove steps in the design process and specifications to get a new finished part without having to recreate a model. This brings us to the conclusion of our tutorial. To get more information on 3D Experience Platform, don't forget to learn Simulia Structural Model Creation Essentials course on companion.3ds.com. Thanks for watching.